I must have been about 11 years old when I first started carving in San Antonio. I went to the San Antonio River and dragged a, a black walnut log, which I didn't even know what black walnut was then, but it was a piece of wood, and I dragged it home. And I started, started to carve. When I teach my students, you know, uh, the people that come to the class, is the first thing that I mention to them. The technology of material is, is there and you must know it. And if you don't know the insides of it, you'll never find out what you will do with the medium. It's not only the medium that counts, it's you also. You don't have enough heat in here. See, you have to rotate this thing until you build the heat. That's why you're building a lot of lumps in there. And the copper absorbs a lot of the heat. So once you start melting it, then it begins to flow. But I'm not a professional teacher because I never had an academic degree. An academic degree that says, well, you're a teacher. Chichen Itza was a great impact to me. When we first landed there, the first night, I went at midnight and looked up from the top of the mount of the ruin, the highest ruin, which is the temple of Kukulkan. And they looked to me like they were made out of silver with the sunshine, the moon shining on them. It was beautiful. Further purchase and generous gifts to become one of the most distinguished in the country. I feel like I'm renewed. Something came new to me. See, there is something that I didn't expect it at all. Everything that I do seems unfinished to me, though. I'm not completely satisfied. I keep going further and I would like to do another piece. And I, I do that piece and then when it's finished, I'm still not satisfied. I guess this is this one till I die. I, I'm happy working because that's what I enjoy, my working sculpture.